Hey guys, what's going on? This is Apple Investigator here, and it seems that many of you guys are interested in Geekbench and GPU tests and all sort of benchmark testing with the latest flagship devices. So here I am, I'm going to compare the iPhone 6 Plus and the Nexus 6. These are two of the latest smartphones to hit the market, and a lot of you guys look at this as a way of judging performance. So first I'm going to do this on my iPhone 6 Plus here with Geekbench 3, and then I'm going to show you guys the comparative scores a on the Nexus 6. So here we have iOS 8.1, the Apple A8 at 1.4 gigahertz, and a gig of RAM. Now I'm going to hit run processor benchmark, speed this up to two times just so I don't bore you guys, and we'll be able to see some scores on the single and multi-core performance. This measures the speed and effectiveness of the processor. Here we see we get 1621 on the single core score and 2906 on the multi core. Now I know you are all interested in seeing the performance of the Nexus 6, so let's have a look. So as many of you guys know, the Nexus 6 is Google's latest device, which actually runs stock Android. So taking a look at the specs here, we have Android 5.0 here. It's running a Qualcomm processor at 2.65 gigahertz, one processor, and it's got that quad core performance, and it has three gigabytes of RAM on board. Now taking a look at the Nexus 6 scores, we're getting 1035 on the single core and 3159 on the multi-core. Now this can be compared to the 1621 on the single core 6 plus and 2906 on the multi-core 6 plus. So it does appear that the iPhone 6 Plus is beating the Nexus 6 in terms of single core performance, but the Nexus 6 is beating out the 6 Plus on the multi-core performance. So let me know down below what you guys think about these Geekbench tests. I'd love to hear the debate down in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.